Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? How do they feel about you? Um, how do they view this connection? How are they viewing you at this time? We'll also look at their intentions towards you and what do they wish they could tell you? Angels, guys. Messages for Aquarius, please. What do they need to know regarding love? All right, sorry. Give me some more insight into what's going on for Aquarius and love for Aquarius. Coffin number 19. So something is closed here. It could be someone's feelings are not, oh, you know, or like someone has literally like clammed shut. This could also be a card about an ending of some sort. Okay, we got courtship number four. Hmm. Why well, don't the deck I have message? Interesting. There could have been an ending in a connection or someone possibly cut ties. We'll see. Let's look at the tarot. For Aquarius, please, spirit. What do I need to know? So hard to shovel this deck. What do I need to know regarding love? This is the Cosmic Slumber deck. What do I need to know? And then reset past, we have the Queen of Pentacles. In your energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles and Death, Scorpio energy. We have two cards here about endings. And, the, you know, funnily enough, it's on your end here. In the present, we have the Nine of Wands. The Devil card reversed, Capricorn energy. In their energy, we have the Knight of Wands reverse, the Sun reversed. Hmm. Near future, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Interesting. I feel like you put an end to something or you went through some sort of change in your life that affected this connection. There's baggage here, trust issues. And that makes sense because I feel like there's something that's hidden on your person's side. Um, they were probably not as committed, not dependable. Um, maybe they jumped into something and got in trouble for it. But now there's someone has a wall up. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Fire Sign, Scorpio, Earth Sign is here as well. So let's see. Let's see what all of this is about. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups reverse. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles is a very giving person, very generous, very loyal partner. Two of Cups reverse. So I feel like someone that was very loyal, had a lot to give, had a lot to offer, um, is heartbroken. Or someone broke this queen's heart. Moon reverse at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. Something came to the surface here, something, an illusion burst. A secret came out or something was revealed. Something happened here. And now there's the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Six 
Six of Cups. This regarding the past. Memories. Soulmate connection. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? The world reverse. This immediately made me think of the Wheel of Fortune reverse. There was probably um, something's in limbo, something that maybe there's not a, uh, enough closure. Maybe this is a cycle that hasn't completely ended or a cycle that never fully began. I feel like there's no closure with the past and I don't know. I think it's it's weighing on someone. Someone could be emotionally uh, having difficulty with this. Maybe they're trying to defend themselves, protect themselves. I don't know if it's working or not. Why is the double reverse? It's about being free of something unhealthy, toxic, no longer letting bad choices, you know, control you or consume you or not, you know, being swayed by your desires or your what you feel is like a need five of wands reverse tell me about the devil reverse what's the devil reverse five of swords yeah there's some sort of conflict here Three of Swords reverse. Maybe even a third party situation for some of you. Five of Wands reverse. Five of Swords reverse. There could have been deception here. Someone wasn't playing fair. They wanted to win at all costs, and I feel like there was a loss instead. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Someone has doubts worries they wasted their time wasted their energy you know in the wrong thing maybe they spent time and energy in something and it didn't pan out it didn't go the way they hoped with the seven of pentacles reverse so let's see how are you feeling about each other i have you on one side aquarius and your person on the other but it can be flipped so feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more Spirit, give me some insight into these energies. How are they thinking or feeling about one another? Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Patiently waiting. Waiting, patience, faith. What you desire will be given at the right time. Have faith. Interesting. Tell me about their person. Person's energies. Hidden feelings. Silence, suppression, fear. Don't let fear keep you from revealing your true feelings. Well, yeah, this person's definitely hiding something because I have the sun reverse for them. Maybe you're waiting for answers for the truth. Divine timing at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Wheel of Fortune is reversed though. So something isn't happening as quickly as someone hoped or something. maybe something is just not the right time. Or it's just maybe a stroke of bad luck. We'll see. Let's look at how you feel about each other. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. What's the Knight of Pentacles here? Four of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. I'm getting this, you know, I'm getting um, the message is a snail's pace. Nine of Pentacles. Once again, I get this idea of you being a prize. 
you're stable, secure, successful. And then there's the Four of Swords. You could be waiting for a new opportunity or you're waiting for an opportunity from this person, but I don't think it's happening. Either there's not a lot of communication or there's no action from this person. We have the Seven of Swords reverse and the Hangman. You know, I feel like you're starting to realize, or maybe you already did, that this person is not moving, not taking action. Tell me about death. Can you tell me about death? Knight of Swords reverse. This could be deception once again. Someone who is not on your side. Knight of Swords reverse. Tell me about death. Ace of Cups reverse. I think you were heartbroken at whatever happened with this person and it caused you to kind of protect yourself. You made a difficult choice and I think you did it because you were thinking of yourself. Maybe this person made a promise they couldn't keep. Maybe you realized this too late. Tell me about the Knight of Wands reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Six of Swords reverse. The Knight of Wands reverse. The Fool. I think this person wanted to be free. Um, uh, maybe they acted like they were free when they weren't. I think this person disappointed you. I think this person was foolish. They didn't realize where they were going, what they were doing. Tell me about the sun reverse. Maybe they didn't want to commit. Three of Pentacles. Why is this sign reverse? Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Wands. I feel like this person is like, they're telling you that they want to make this work or that they're willing to fight for this. Maybe they wanna message you here because I have that message card at the bottom of the deck. Oops. Message card at the bottom of the deck here. Um, let's see. But I feel like if they are gonna message you, uh, I have the seven of wands here. So it's like resistance in some way. Tell me about the eight of wands. What's this Eight of Wands about? Oh, seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck again. Ten of Pentacles reverse with the t with the Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands. It's interesting. I'm getting like the 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 feeling that I'm getting when I look at all of these cards together is someone who's easily attracted to something, to what they want. Um they could be, you know, passionate, wanting to communicate or take some sort of action here with the Eight of Wands. But then I have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So it's almost like the action doesn't lead to something solid or stable. This Queen of Wands, they tend to, to do whatever it takes 
to get what they want. Um, they're very bold. They are risk takers, you know. But I have here the sun reverse, so it's almost like, and I'm seeing this is hiding something. Something's hidden. Something's not out in the open. Um, and I feel like it's going to lead to some sort of a loss. Even if there's attraction, even if someone is fearless, even if someone communicates, takes action. I feel like there's going to be a loss here. Can I get one more, please? The sun reverse. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, trying to make something work, make something balanced, um, have justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. So it could be that this person wants to make things right, but be careful because I have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. You know, in the present position, I have the Five of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles reverse. So it's like, I don't know. I'm getting like something that might not work out the way that someone hopes. And it could be because the approach is not correct. Let's see what's happening in the near future. I'm going to clarify this Wheel of Fortune reverse. Spare, why is Wheel of Fortune reverse? Three of Wands reverse. Yep. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Someone is possibly, yep, Two of Pentacles reverse. Someone's possibly going to miss the boat or is going to be waiting a little bit too long here with the Three of Wands reverse and the Wheel of Fortune reverse. And I think it's because their choice, the choice that they made possibly wasn't the right one. Three of Swords reverse. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I mean, look at all these cards. Look at all of the other cards that came out upright in this reading. We have so many upright. And then here in the, in the near future, they're all reverse. And when I finally get a card that's upright here at the bottom of the deck, it's the Eight of Cups. A departure, walking away. Three of Wands reverse. This could be a card about not planning well enough. Um, jumping into something out of frustration, out of impatience, um, missing the boat entirely, missing an opportunity because you weren't really planning correctly. Three of Swords Reverse. This is typically a card about healing, heartbreak, but it could also mean intense heartbreak. It can mean a third party situation, a third party interference. Something that gets in the way. And then the Two of Pentacles reverse. This could be a choice or it could be that someone, their choice is made for them because they weren't able to decide. You know, and I'm starting to think that it's just probably not the right time or someone, again, it's going to be more difficult than someone thought it was going to be. And it's probably because they're not doing things right or they weren't thinking about what's to come clearly enough, you know, and I have a feeling that might be your person. I feel like this person has really disappointed you. If it's not this person specifically, it's whatever situation they find themselves in that affects your connection. But I feel like your connection was over before it really started. Or, you know, there's some something that already there's a lot of baggage here. But I don't think it was ever a full-on commitment because I have the courtship card. I have patiently waiting. It's like you were waiting for this to pay off or, or go somewhere. But instead, there's like a mess here. And I don't know. I feel like this person's hiding their true feelings or hiding something about themselves that they shouldn't be hiding. I don't know. It's weird. It's almost like they, they don't. The fact that they, are, they 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 tend to hide things gets them in trouble, makes the situation worse. Let me know if that's resonating down in the, in the comments. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Aquarius. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. I hope you got something out of this reading. And I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.